down here mostly so you can hear uh, what I'm saying to her a little better. Okay? Okay, Dan, so go ahead and just let her kind of uh, walk out really big. Give her, give her quite a bit of rain. We'll just start warming her up and um, have a nice big walk. So as big a walk as you can get her to get without trotting um, and on a loose rein. Your reins aren't quite even, just so you know. Take okay, a couple more on your outside reins. Yeah, um, but loose and even would be ideal. Good. Okay, go ahead and start trotting. Again, keep to the reins loose right now. Really light contact, just what you need because she's just kind of warming up. So what we're looking for is to have her kind of almost get kind of relaxed. And because she's young, it's gonna take maybe five, 10 minutes for her to kind of soften up and loosen a little bit. So um, Brianna, don't be afraid to change directions. So go ahead and go to P. Yep, go ahead and go to P and then come back around me this way. Yep, but uh, again, just kind of keep a nice loose rein, but steer, steer her lightly so that she's going, um, uh, who's my boss? Three is my boss. She controls my direction. She controls my speed. But we're getting warmer up mostly at the top. Good. Nice long rain. That's fine. I like how she's dropping her head like that a little bit. Go a little bit further down now. Uh, you can go through the blue markers and let her just kind of relax. Loose rain. Help her with your body. Good. Okay, while we're warming her up, we're going to start warming you up. So go ahead and start. Um, she's been sitting in the trot. She's going to go ahead and post now. So let's go ahead and post. Good. Excellent. She's riding and falling with the shoulder on the wall. That's perfect. So by the shoulder on the wall, I mean that the shoulder is swinging forward on the outside. That's how she's posing. So she's up and down on that, on that uh, rhythm of the, of the trot. Okay, go ahead and change directions again, Bree. Go ahead and, and loop back this way. Good. She's doing really good. Okay, keep your post. So she's posting. When you go through the blue, go ahead and go to two point. What? Go ahead and two point. Two point. You remember? So you, it's where you're like this. And you're holding. Holding up. No, 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 no. You don't remember what two point is? Okay, so it's where you up like jockey, okay? Oh. Yes, but you're going like this, sweetie, you want to be more like, like, so I could take you off a horse, set you on the ground, and you wouldn't fall over. A little softer in the knee, that was better, but softer in the knee, you're balancing through your belly button almost. Okay, go. Harder to do when you're actually riding. So what this is doing is this gives her a lighter seat. So like if she were jumping, she would want to be able to get in a two-point. Good. You're gonna go ahead and sit back down. Good. Sit the top. Now we're gonna do it in um, steps of seven, okay? So for seven steps, you will sit, seven steps will post. Ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and um, hold two point, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, uh, she, she's like, I don't even remember two points. But Rhea's Rhea's taking a little time off for riding, so we've been kind of back at it a little bit this fall, but it's been a little while. She's doing great though. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, turn around and go the other direction again. I like to turn around and go um, the other direction multiple times, not just to get velvet's attention, but to balance her body. You want to work the horse evenly on both sides as much as you can. So if you do a lot of work circling one direction, you're going to want to go ahead and turn around and do it the other direction just the same amount. Okay, Dan, you should be trotting. Ready? Still with a nice loose rein. We're going to, um, the velvet is young, so we, we're going to start taking up contact. She's starting to learn about contact, but she hasn't, um, you know, she's pretty good about it, but she's, uh, she's learning, so. 
Um, she, she worked, kind of gets her exercise started, warmed up on a loose rein, and then we'll start taking contact with you. Not quite yet. Good. Okay, so now what I want you to do is actually walk. Thank you. Okay, so as we go in, the next thing we're going to do is what I like to call the grandpa walk. We're going to go ahead and go, you can turn around and she was a little sneery face. She's kind of switched her tail. I'm not sure why, but um, we just get her attention and kind of go with it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shorten your reins a little bit now, Bria. And we're going to ask her to take the smallest possible step. Um, the fun riding is all about control. So the more control you have, the more magic moments. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel like she can read your mind. What she's really doing is reading your body. So she's going to kind of even more almost squeeze her down. I want her to push you up. Smaller. Smaller. Good. Even more. Think of sucking your back into your belly button almost. Yes. Now open up. Have her walk really big without trotting. The biggest walk you can get without trotting, okay? So to do that, look forward. Actually look down the wall a little bit. Use a little more of this arena. Get her to stride out really big. Good. Come across the top. And as you come across the top of this oval, the cross, the cross over behind the tree the blue. When you go through the blue, go ahead and suck her back up. She's already sucking up some, but you want her to suck her up even more. Teeny tiny step.
good work. You're going to want to take a little more rain. You don't want too much because she's young, but you do want a little more so you can see her. Use your inside leg to bump her. Keep her on. Yeah. Next time she'll be ready to canter, I think. So I want her to be cantering as she comes in at the top of the open side of the circle, coming into the fencing on this side, okay? So about here. Oh, you did a little early, but I don't mind that. <laughs> Uh, as an uh, ambitious personality, that's okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Good. Good practice. Good. So what, what I want to see you do is actually take more inside rein and use your inside leg to kind of push her. Okay. 